it would still be classified as research and development if you're using AI, as long as the experiment is still there. Because like, you, you need to go out and test it in the real world. So just because Grok has given you an answer instead of a researcher, and then you're going out and testing it doesn't mean that you're not going to be eligible for something like the, the R&D rebate. On the idea of not needing researchers, though, I actually had a similar thought just this morning. And what my AI workflow has become has been anytime I'm working on a project myself, it's a whole lot of like gathering the context from certain meetings in certain spaces that... Um, you know, you need to put all the context together and then you don't need to do the deep thinking anymore. You get the AI to do the deep thinking, but you need to guide it what to look at and what, you know, you, you give it the context. And a lot of people are talking about this role of like context engineering now, whereby the engineering role is basically prompting LLMs. You just need to give it the right context. And so I think agents will do that eventually. Like agents will be able to go and capture the right context from the right places. And we talk about, you know, capturing data from real life conversations with things like the limitless pin, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm capturing all of, all of my thoughts. I'm capturing all of the thoughts of the people around me, all the meetings we've had. And I'm going to feed that into LLMs to make sure that I'm thinking about it in the right way. The deep thinking is done by them, but really I wouldn't have to do anything at all if someone I had in the team was actually going and capturing all of this information. So bringing it back to the point of a, a researcher, maybe we don't actually need researchers anymore. We need people to orchestrate the agents to get the right data and to like work with you and work with team members on what the outcome is that you're looking for. Absolutely, we need researchers in terms of in academia, like MIT researchers would be, you know, the best researchers on the planet. But I think in a private company context, I mean, R&D is research and development. I think the models are going after both a bit, but almost the same person could be in charge of R&D and deploying AI in both scenarios, you know, whether it's coding or whether it's research. So potentially that head of R&D is a bit more of a prompter as opposed to a deeply technical person.